Hi, my name is Arin Kim. Today I will present my research on the contact behavior of soft silicon materials. So the soft materials have numerous applications in nature and research. In our bodies, we can find soft materials in soft tissue, tongue and pellet, skin and cartridge. In research areas, soft materials are often used to fabricate microfluidic chips, contact lenses, skin sensors, etc. So there are a lot of applications and examples of soft materials, but there is one common factor. Soft materials are all in contact with other materials. Therefore, it is crucial to understand the contact behavior of soft materials to control their friction, adhesion, and lubrication. Soft materials have distinctive structures compared to ordinary rigid solids. Not all of them have, but as they have less elasticity, there is more probability that they have tear phase structure composed of viscous liquids and elastic solids. So there might be some time difference between the applied stress and the resultant strain, which is called physical elasticity. And the role of this surface tension might be predominant in the system because of viscous liquids. And the total stress might be the sum of the fluid pressure and effective stress on solids, which is called pore elasticity. These kind of features are not found in ordinary rigid materials. Therefore, the conventional theories developed for rigid solids could not be used to investigate how soft materials behave in contact with other materials. Therefore, we need to build new or modified theories for the contact behavior of soft materials. So in this research, we decided to study is it to handle soft silicon materials, particularly polydimethyl The soft materials are in contact with sliding or static solids or flowing fluids. By doing that, we are trying to find the role of the associated forces on the system. So we have studied friction between viscoelastic travel pairs in dry and lubricated sliding condition, and we could find that the role of the loss tangent is predominant in the system, which is the ratio of the shear loss modulus to the shear storage modulus. We also fabricated a PDMS wall channel inside rigid packing tubes, and we could find that the measured pressure drop does not follow the classical hagen poisson elastication, and there is a reduction in the pressure drop which depends on the concentration of the cross-linker. For the next step, we will focus on the surface deformation of soft materials over time. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I would like to thank my post supervisors and lab mates and appreciate the awards from the wind.